My previous video was dedicated to this method, which helps me out very often in today's market situation, but I focused on a more experienced audience there. And I wanted to show not only the pattern itself, but also additional conditions, tricky situations, and etc. And they are pretty hard to understand for a beginner. So in this video, I will focus on a simple way of using this strategy, and this will help you at the start of your trading journey. And that, of course, double impulse plus Fibonacci. Life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. As I mentioned before, I've been using this method a lot in recent times. And what is more important, it is one of the most profitable patterns. Today, I'm going to analyze a few trading moments that can be seen almost every day and you just might not notice them yet. So let's begin. Let's start with a small time frame so you can get into the situation faster. On one minute chart, we can immediately see the pattern which we will continue to meet. Let's switch to a five minute time frame for easier analysis and everything becomes more compact and clear at once. We see a strong impulse of the ascending chart. This is followed by a consolidation. Next is a new strong upward movement. All this let us know that the chart is about to go down to a consolidation level. So we have identified the three main components of this pattern. But what will happen next? How do we know when the chart will go down? This is where Fibonacci comes in. So let's go into the chart settings and set the levels. Level 0 for the beginning of the first impulse and level 1 for the end of the first impulse. What do we see? We see that the candle has already broken through the level we want, uh, level 1.6, and this level is decisive in this situation. We also see that the life of the 5 minute candlestick is already ending and the shadow is formed at the top, so we can safely put the 10 minutes straight. By the way, look how the chart is testing 1.6 level, which only confirms that we found the level correctly. So our goal is to go back to the consolidation level. Next we have the situation which is more complicated. Here we see that the chart has already reached the level of 1.6 by reversing. So we know where the chart will go into the pattern. So we need to choose the right moment and expiration time. In a typical situation when the chart has just started to move down with a 5 minute time frame, I would put in at 15 minutes. Since it is already halfway to the consolidation zone, we we'll wait for it to rise to the resistance level. Another interesting situation, on 10 minute and 5 minute charts we can clearly see the familiar pattern that crossed the level of 1.6 and started moving down. The chart has moved downwards too strongly, so here, as in the previous case, we we'll wait for the slight correction and come back up, taking our time. and we set the deal at 15 minutes.
So look how the chart tests an each Fibonacci level, which confirms the correctness of the construction of our graphical tool. What was interesting about this situation that I wanted to show you the possible movements of the chart in a large time frame. Since the market moves from level to level, we see how the candlestick got to the support level and went up to the resistance level. The last example I wanted to show you was only a potential trade. I analyzed the chart and saw our pattern. A strong downward impulse, then a consolidation. Accordingly, we should have waited for another impulse to use the pattern surely. But this situation shows that there is no need to rush and open a trade too early. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and leave your opinion about this topic in a comment section down below. And see you guys very, very soon. Later.